Hi, this is Bobby Klein. I'm the translator and the interpreter of the I Ching. This is a new earth I Ching, easy to understand, easy to put to use. It's an oracle, 3,000 years of wisdom wrapped up in this. So sit back, take a breath. If you've got a question in your mind, ask it. If not, just hang in and you'll get some answers. And that's what this is all about. The I Ching, they say, is the book of change, and it is, but it's also the book of answers. All right. Tune in. Drop in. You're home. Yeah. You're home. Weather is changing. Clouds belay the blackbird song. Here come the ravens. Yeah. Here come the ravens. Messengers. Pay attention. This week, week of the uh, retreat so we're in retreat right now and now reaching out from that retreat here in Tulum to bring the I Ching reading for this week number 43 Guai deciding and parting it's about that man and about paying attention you know what I mean above is responsive and free and below is the enduring spirit power and really that's what this this teachings are about. It's about enduring the power of speech, enduring the power of spirit. As we bring that in, we see what it is and we see what it is that brings us to this place, brings us to a place of knowledge and a place of love. <clears throat> and I think that's what it's all about. Wisdom this week, breakthrough. No compromise. <laughs> As you part from the past, well, that's what it's about, huh? Hey, you know, those of you that are listening to this at the retreat, I'm sure this is really making sense. You know, it's about breakthrough, it's about no compromise, and it is that we are part of the past. And you are in a time of creative transformation. How does the I Ching know? You know, that's the thing about it. There's been a struggle. The struggle to move against negativity, coming to a place where we are positive and a place where we see ourselves free and see ourselves where we can love and we can be loved. And our awareness now that we know what's going on, then our projects, our situations, our relationships now come into favor. All right. There's, you know, on this road, man, there's, there's, Temptation. And that's where our strength comes in to resist the path of retribution to what or who's been getting in the way of our completion or getting in the way of our joy. All the while, remembering that guides and teachers often come in strange disguises, strange shapes and forms. Uh huh. So you're getting through it. And you do have a memory of what happened, what got in the way, but it's not the time for retribution. It might seem satisfying in the short term to strike out with words or actions against who or what's been holding back your progress. No, that what you do now and how you behave in setting the pattern for your personal and for all the collective future is at stake. Karma? sometimes cannot be so pleasant to hear. Mm -hmm. All right. So in making this decision to part from the past, you must be resolute. You must be in your, <clears throat> in your strength, on your mark, see? With no doubts. And again, no compromise. Don't give it up. 
The benefit now is to ship frequencies. If there are a few bad cells left behind after a cancer has been excised, the cancer will come back and secretly grow with the vengeance of a defeated enemy that has found strength in retreat, and it could kill you or your spirit and get in the way and obliterate your mission, and that's what we're talking about. If you see the negativity that you're getting through, <clears throat> make sure you excise it all, that you bring it all to bear, that you bring it out, you see. Because this is the time that you speak from your heart and your heart to your loved ones, to your community, as you reach out and you feel this power of love that's coming in. And let the people around you know, if they've been in the way, in no uncertain terms, that you have made the decision, that you've made the decision to no longer allow obstacles to block the way towards your greater good, the greater good for you, for the ones that you care about and the ones that you love, and for us as a collective. Take the role of service to this ideal as a samurai warrior defending an enlightened master. In this case, the master is you. State your intention and then calmly, dispassionately act on it. Write your intention on a piece of paper. It's a good trick. And keep it in your pocket. Take it out every once in a while. Read it during the day. State it upon arising. State it as you prepare to sleep so you feel yourself in that motion of moving forward. As you take this role of service and with these intentions, when you get up in the morning, state your intention. As you prepare to sleep, set your intention. By speaking out, you'll be garnering strength from the universe and from spirit. By speaking your truth, the laws of attraction say you will become the attractor. Spirit will be pleased at this resoluteness that you have in this situation. This signaling will bring immense clarifying energy that's been in the storehouse of energy for a long time. And now it's there for you to open yourself to. Speak up and demonstrate that you've decided to overcome all obstacles because you see it's only a decision that you're not going to allow anything but love and harmony to flourish. With that intention to love with an open heart, there's where you get your strength. It's simple, you see. This will allow you to love and to be loved without the restrictions of the ego, the restrictions of judgment or jealousy. This will also eviscerate any notions that you're not good enough. That not good enough. You're not deserving. You know that voice or the critical voice. Hey, you're not good enough for this. You, you know, you'll never get what you want. You don't deserve love. You know, and it's there in that voice. But that voice is a liar, you see. With calmness and clear direction, make your plan. Execute your plans. Don't be afraid. This is what's called for now at the arrival of a teaching such as this. And it's a powerful teaching. And it's one that gives us empowers us and takes us away from being afraid as we move forward. Pretty easy to state now that the planet is changing all, in all ways. You know, this new earth is arising and, there's, you know, I don't, we don't want to change it, but it, we can't change it. And this change, you see, is bringing more energy for transmutation and transformation, which is now available, and more is available than ever has been available before. And you can believe that, you see. If you were to act now from ego and attempt to use the energy to blast, to assume control, or to bring in justice, or try to harm someone, this harm would come back, man, and slap you in the face. You know, it, it, it would come back with a double, tripled, quadrupled mathematical power that would be destructive. It'll poison the well. It'll wreak harm 
for you, for sure. And you'd also do harm to the delicate flowering of a new age that's opening for all of us. We're moving toward a golden age of the highest and the brightest potential humans have ever known. Our individual thoughts and actions are now magnified and reverberate throughout the global cosmic matrix that is now being activated. Listen, read, hear what the astrologers are saying. It's going to give you confidence. It's going to give you confidence. This planetary alignment that is happening now has never been like this before in history. Dance in the dark no longer. <laughs> dance in the dark no longer. But dance. Refrain from forming secret packs with yourself. They end up saying, well, I'm going to do this if I do that. That's not what it's about, you see. Don't make packs with others to promote or to be of service to greed or personal gain. Because, you see, this energy that's here, you can do that, right? Because it's so strong that you can bring about... Uh, you, you bring gain through negative activity. There's no doubt about that. But if you do, it, number one, it's not going to last. But number two, it's going to come back and slap you. You know, if you make a decision or a choice in this direction, it's going to backfire. And all that you've manifested thus, thus far will be tainted. It will be toxic. And you're going to be left powerless or worse. At this potent time, negative actions will reverberate through a lifetime this lifetime and future ones. We're talking about karma. And this is how powerful these times, this reading. So be cautious. Stay awake. You know, what are they saying? Be woke. Yeah, but it's it. Be awake. And by recognizing and honoring this breakthrough, right? For those of you here at the, at the retreat, you know, you're going through breakthrough and honor it. You'll be, have renewed strength. and You're going to have a window of opportunity to set things straight whether it's in love, whether it's in business, or your personal path of conscious evolution. The way you handle this arriving success and the abundance it brings will set the tone for the future. This is a time to express your resolve and to manifest your greatest strength, which is your compassion, <laughs> which is your kindness, which is your generosity. That's where your greatest strength lies. It's simple. It's decisions, right? It's decisions to act from and for the greater good. You know, we talk about the greater good, but that's what we're reckoning with right now is the greater good for all of us as we move forward, right? And listen, knowing that by taking any retribution, <laughs> it'll weaken you. And you it's tempting. <laughs> you know, if somebody's been messing with you and you find yourself free, just go on. Don't, don't you know, stand up for yourself and move on. Don't, don't let them rob you of your ability to enjoy and sustain your success. Stay out of others' business. Don't fall to the level of gossip or disrespect in your triumphs. Do not disparage your opponents in their defeat. Let them be. They know not what they do. We've heard that, huh? And fully and most importantly, forgive yourself for any part you might have played in the negative actions of the past. In this way, you can leave the past behind while having compassion, compassion for yourself. That's what it's about. Be dignified, be kind. You know, as we're doing the work, capital W, what we're doing is leaving old and negative patterns and habits behind. It is with these actions that you will rise to new heights of self-love and self-respect and confidence. From this pinnacle, you're going to find and attract love and abundance in ways that you've desired and have previously held only in your imagination, and now they are getting real. So you got to get real, right? In this time of creative transformation, get real. Don't lie. Don't lie to yourself, right? With this intention of love, the intention for clarity. You're going to manifest all this with calmness and with grace. Know that it's here. And you got it. That's what we do and call doing the work, capital W, in this way. Transformation will in itself be without effort. That's how it works. You don't have to pull back. You don't have to, you know, be rattling your sword, man. 
If you do it, it's going to take away your power. You know, this journey toward the resurrection and building of your dreams that previously may have hit a wall of obstruction. So the benefit now is in tone to the spirit helpers what your dreams are. If you don't have a dream, how are you ever going to have a dream come true? And that's it. you got to have a dream. If you say, well, I don't really have a dream. Well, get to work. <laughs> get to work. Open up to that dream. Your intuitive forces now with what's going on are at their highest. And know that you, got, you can be there and you can trust it and don't be afraid. This all can be accessed. It can all be trusted. Yeah. As it is, only you can bring about this global change that we're all envisioning. Speak openly to a new paradigm. Take these coming days to celebrate life and shift like it's happening now. And it's the shift of the ages. Do consider being of service now. Find joy in serving others. And whatever you have at hand, be generous with it. Open the doorway, you see. In this way, you can lift up your community up into the light that you're seeing and what you're feeling now. Share it, and by empowering others, you are, with pure intention, empowering yourself, you see? What goes around comes around. You know, when we say namaste, we're saying, I honor the God in you, in me, in you, in me, in you, in me. Be of love these days. Smile <clears throat> when you're at work, in your community, when you're in class, when you're at the retreat. Smile on the street as you drive past others on life's highway the highway of love, and a life well lived will be revealed. Live your life, not the life of another, right? Stay in your own moccasins, men. Stay in your own moccasins. Allow yourself to be the love that you desire, and when you do, you're going to have it, right? We're not doing this for personal gain. We're doing this for the gain of the universe, the gain of the earth, because we're all one and we're working together. And as you work together, there's no boundaries, there's no borders about where this good, these good works you're going to do. It's empowering yourself during global change. If you do not, these opportunities are going to pass you by. So speak openly about this new paradigm. Take these coming days to celebrate. There's a shift going on. Empower others. And look, like I said, by doing that, by giving others strength and power with good intentions, you're empowering yourself and you can continue doing the work. Yeah. Breakthrough, no compromise, take no prisoners as you part from the past. You're in a time of creative transformation, enduring spirit, penetration, getting into it, making your decisions and staying with it. The weather's changing, the clouds belay the blackbird's song. Here come the ravens. Talking about bringing the message of Gaia, bringing the message of Great Spirit. Be of service now. Be of service to the ones around you, but also to all the indigenous tribes. It's hard to believe that, um, that the world is still holding down the indigenous people that's so much wisdom there and we've got to work for that to open up those doorways and do that as part of your work well I send you all the love that I can muster from down here to call down here at the retreat where we are pushing pushing away I'm going to have more to say next week but we're pushing away the clouds and letting the songs come through because this is a time of dancing it's a time of loving and it's a time of being yourself and allowing yourself to fully be yourself and not to take any prisoners. <laughs> Just move on because we're in the place of deciding and parting.
Well, with my toes in the sand, I send you as much love as I can muster here. And I send all the love that I can send. So I say namaste. And I say, in la que shalakin, I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Namaste, you warriors. Namaste, you men, you women, you warriors. And men, come on, let's respect the goddess because she's holding the light, protecting the womb of earth. Big love, big hug. Remember who you are, and who you are is magnificent. Namaste, y'all. Namaste. Yeah. Hey, isn't that what it's about this week as we come through these times? You know, I think this reading was important. And it's important, certainly, you know, when I feel and the I Ching is amazing as we come through these times. And I get, I'm always blown away, you know. Uh, so I'm glad that this one came up this week. You know I don't choose, but I'm glad this one came up. So we can... I really wanted to get the message out there, and I think it's so important to be sending messages during this time. So listen, thank you for your help with all the tech technique techniques technical things man you're making it easy for me and uh, you're opening up a lot of doors for a lot of people so I send you blessings my brother and I send blessings to the sisters who've been looking after me I want to send a big blessing to my new assistant Allison who is kicking ass man doing such a good job for us and all the people around us and you know if anybody part of e-call is listening to this all those people there all the all the all the great people with Amena and Melissa all the people who are helping us make this retreat what it is be the love that you desire namaste y'all